Hi everyone, it's Richard, CEO and founder of Altfins. In this short video, I will review Trust Wallet or TWT technical analysis. Let's begin. I'm going to go to the crypto screener and find TWT Trust Wallet. Trust Wallet is a is a digital wallet similar to MetaMask, but it's owned by Binance. Um, and it's had uh, a pretty big run after the FTX collab collapse. Um, basically, as users migrated to decentralized or non-custodial uh, way of um, of uh, storing their um, digital assets, uh, but now it's uh, it's pulled back dramatically. Let's take a look at the technical analysis that we do. Uh, it's under the curated chart tab here and I'll blow up the uh, the analysis here our technical analysis really focuses on some key simple key concepts such as identifying support and resistance zones looking at the momentum as illustrated by the relative strength uh, strength uh, index or RSI and MACD and um, and then identifying some some patterns uh, visually here and as you can see uh, the price had shot up you know, quickly, uh, basically over 100% gain in a matter of few days. Then it consolidated in a bullish pennant. And bullish pennant, uh, pennants uh, are a consolidation and a continuation uh, pattern, meaning that typically the price uh, continues in the existing direction uh, when it breaks out of the pennant. And, and it did just that. It was you know, per picture perfect or textbook. Um, bullish pennant breakout and it reached that two dollars and 75 cent uh, level again uh, which was a resistance zone because that's where the price uh, peaked out um, and got uh, rejected you know this is where the sellers uh, the traders began to take uh, profits massively and again that happened uh, more recently about a week ago where uh, the, the buyers and the, and the bullish traders were not able to uh, overpower the the bearish sellers and and the sellers uh, then drove the the price down again and so that formed a double top pattern which is a bearish pattern you know the price basically tried to to break above that level on a couple of occasions and failed and then it broke below uh, this uh, uh, key level of dollar eighty but um, Technically, it's still in an uptrend, as you can see, indicated uh, based on our medium and the long-term trend rating. And, and now it's pulled back to another support zone, uh, $1.25. And that happens to also be very close to the 200-day moving average. 200-day moving average oftentimes serves as a support or a resistance zone, depending on uh, whether the price is approaching it from above or below. In this case, it's a support zone and it lines up with a horizontal support zone of $1.25 and a dynamic support zone represented by the 200-day moving average. So it makes this support area uh, that much more robust. And why is the support area? Well, this is the level where the price had, um, had faced some resistance in the past. As you can see here, it got rejected and got rejected here again and then it finally broke above that once a support zone i mean at the time it was a resistance zone once a resistance zone gets uh, broken uh, um, through it becomes a support zone that's a concept known as a polarity very important concept in technical analysis so now it's a support zone as you can see even today the price uh, had dipped all the way to that zone and and then uh, uh, the buyer stepped in so um so there's this long wick on the the, the today's candle but um, I do believe that we'll get a chance to buy it around dollar 25 maybe dollar 30 again and that's what I would uh, put my uh, buy order here uh, with the assumption that it will find support here at this level and bounce up maybe up to about dollar 80 or so maybe a little less but uh, good enough for maybe 10 20 percent gain on the swing up it's also getting a bit oversold, as you can see, on RSI, Relative Strength Index. It's at a level it hasn't been in a long time, but uh, very close to that 30%, uh, you know, right now about 33.2. Uh, 
And when uh, RSI gets to 30 or less, it becomes oversold, especially when overall the trend is up, then RSI at 30 or so is very oversold uh, for, for any price that is actually in an uptrend technically. So um, that would be my personal uh, trade setup is um, put in a, a limit order at say $1.30 um, and, and that would be probably a good swing entry into, into this uh, particular uh, coin. Um, again, I, um, I would uh, recommend that you use the Altfin's curated charts, or we also call them technical analyses, as a great learning tool as well as a, a tool to get you started with some potential trading ideas. Um, of course, these are just uh, our own analyses, not a recommendation. You have to make your own decisions and your own uh, analyses, but I think these are excellent starting points for any uh, level of uh, a trader, particular beginners and intermediate traders. Good luck trading everyone!